for joining us. I'm Aaron Sylvan here on 360 with Finn Kelly. Hello. Hi. Thanks for taking the time to show us the cool stuff you're up to here. You're very welcome. <laughs> nice. You want to tell us a little bit about what it is that you do? Uh, well, I'm the CEO of The Go Game. We make adventure games and immersive experiences around the globe and for companies and now for immersive theater. We call this the motherboard. And okay. the ship is about to land here. Uh, today is our launch event for the motherboard. It's been six months in the making. Uh, it's three stories of exploratory fun, uh, capped off with the crown chakra or jewel of a roof deck where we have a music stage set up. Uh, well, this room is the tea room, the tea lounge, and it's supposed to be low seating like we are here. And uh, this will be the little tea area. And then behind those shelves is actually a Murphy bed, so it slides open. Uh, currently, someone actually lives here. Um, however, in other installations, I can see that being a secret compartment where you pull it down that reveals like a whole map of the universe. Yeah, so we have a platform we developed. It's called Breadcrumb, or the Go Games platform. And, and with this, we can easily script these experiences, you know, dragging and dropping missions or challenges, uh, putting things together in a, in a way that most people can learn in a couple weeks. Uh, thus far, it's all been very, very digital. And now with this latest addition, you can tie in hardware. So we can say, if you get this mission correct, have that call out to an Arduino that's going to then open a lock, uh, or it's going to lock the lock again. Uh, alternatively, we can have that Arduino be a sensor and detect your heart rate, for instance, and if you get it up high enough to a certain level, then that'll also give you points. Um, that's my dream there, is you can, you can take that really amazing concept of let's get people together, put a time constraint on it and pressure circumstances, have them have to collaborate, figure things out, work together in order to get to an end. Uh, and taking that and making it on a much larger scale that involves movement and dance and collaboration, that's, that's the vision. What, what made you decide to do this? Uh, well, my business partner's name is Ian Frazier. He can't be here right now. He's in San Francisco. Uh, but he wrote me an email back when I was traveling in South America about a dream that he'd had. And in the dream, he was cruising through the annals of, of Chinatown, solving clues and riddles and figuring out a backstory, wearing some sort of convoluted headset, because back then there was no cell phones, really. Uh, it's 20 years ago. Uh, and he wrote me this email and said, hey, I got this concept. It's called The Go Game. He had the name for it. Uh, and it immediately struck a chord with me, and I packed up my stuff and bought a one-way ticket to San Francisco, and we started this company. Is there anything that you cannot gamify? Um, spirituality? How about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's got its own set of principles that I, won't, I can't even begin to touch.